I would say probably the biggest challenge facing the design team on this project was the fact that it was an existing building that we were retrofitting. So typically with the new construction, it's much easier for you to sort of control all the variables, right? Um, and getting to net zero in a new construction uh, building would, would have been, a, I believe, a, a simpler challenge. We brought everybody to the table very early on. So from day one, we had the GC, the engineer, um, all of our consultants at the table. We had to have everybody on board sort of validating everything um, every step of the way. Reimagining the ground floor of the AGU building was probably one of the more significant sort of uh, public modifications to how the building works. So one of the things that we proposed very early on um, was to open up some of that facade at the Florida Avenue storefront. The intent would be that you're uh, becoming a more visible organization, uh, bringing the public in, you're bringing your members in, and so we've created a space both for education and um, for collaboration for members to come in. Um, so it's really about um, transforming that ground level of the building and making it more of an experience for AGU's members and the public. One of AGU's goals with the project was to uh, showcase uh, AGU's member sciences. And so when you come into the building, you see this sculpture, which we're calling the cross-section through member sciences, so it'll be graphically representative of um, the, the sort of different layers of the earth all the way up through space, uh, much like the exterior of the building already does, you know, has those representations of the different sciences. Um, and so uh, in order to carry that throughout the building, um, uh, AGU is going to have a building tour that showcases uh, the sustainable features of the building. So we'll start in the basement, we'll look at the superheat exchange, we'll make our way up um, via the stairs or the elevator into the AG workspace, and then finally we'll go to the roof where we'll see the underside of the PV array and all of the equipment associated uh, with those, those technologies. And so it was really important to carry that imagery throughout to be constantly reminding both the public and um, AGU employees of uh, the sort of uh, awe-inspiring nature of um, the sciences of AGU's members.